So now I want to show you how we can use the transform component to change the position of an object from script. What I have selected in front of me here is the parent object, which is a purple sphere. And we can change this position manually using the gizmo here in the scene. And you will notice that as I do this, the position variables change here in the transform component. And these child spheres also move with it. When we change the position of this object in script, all these relationships will be maintained. So I'm going to jump over to the script file here and open up the update function. We're going to be changing the position of the object in the update function so that we can move it over time and create some animation. So I'm going to paste in some code here and you can see what we have is transform.position. This is a vector three object. So it's a three dimensional vector. Transform position equals a new vector three object. And in the parenthesis, we are setting its properties. So we have here transform position dot X. We are maintaining the object's X position. And here for the Z, we are maintaining the Z or Z position to transform dot position dot Z. But here in the Y position, this is where we are calling upon the maths class to ping pong the value of the Y position. And this will change on a per frame basis that will allow the object to animate. So I'm going to press Control S to save this code, minimize mono develop here, and press play on the toolbar. And when I do this now, you can see that the object is moving up and down its wire position, continually ping ponging because of that maths functionality that we have put in the transformation code. So that's how we can go about using the transform class to change the position of an object.